Hello everybody, I'm Jude and this is Lammy and together we are Little Lamb Tales. Thanks very much for joining us for this week's story time. As you can see, you can follow us on Twitter or say hello on Facebook too. This week we've got a really special story to share. You see, I've been sent a story written by somebody who's not me. It's by a little girl called Annabelle Reynolds and she's only six and she has written this fantastic story about a dinosaur. So I thought I'd share it with you. Now, I just need my glasses. Where are they? Can I have them? Thanks, Lammy. Here we go. Are you ready? There was a loud knock at the door. I went to the door and opened it slowly. Standing there was an immense dinosaur. He had noisy, loud feet. The dinosaur had needle pointed teeth. He had tiny green hands. He had very smelly breath. I felt his skin. It was really bumpy and scaly. He had sharp nails. He had really massive nostrils and staring eyes. I was scared because he was scared. Then I let him inside. What do you want? Asked Dinos. What do you want to do? Asked the dinosaur. I know what to do, I said. So I put on my coat and we went to the swimming pool. But on the sign it said, No dinosaurs allowed. No dinosaurs allowed, said a voice. It was my Uncle Jim. What are you doing here from Harlow? My uncle stared at the dinosaur. So we went to the park and I saw my friends. A dinosaur, shouted my friends. We used him as a slide. Everyone loved it. My friends and I went to the zoo. But all the animals had no one to look at them. Where are all the people, groaned the office. And they started to chase the dinosaur. The dinosaur ran right back out of the zoo and we went back home. What's for dinner? said the dinosaur. I don't know, I said. So the dinosaur made dinner. It was really tasty. And for afters, there was a chocolate fountain with strawberries. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Yum! I yelled. After a while, I said goodbye to the dinosaur. Don't worry, I'm your new next, na- next door neighbour. I'll see you tomorrow, yelled the dinosaur. You really did live next door to me. Is it number 64? I whispered to myself. I went into the house, up to my room and put my pyjamas on. I brushed my teeth, got some water and read a story. I got into bed and said, good night dinosaur, in a whisper. In bed, I wrote a letter to the dinosaur. In the morning, I'm going to post it in his house. I wonder what the dinosaur is doing now. Well, I'll tell you. Dinosaur was watching TV. He was watching Guardians of the Galaxy. He was dressed like Spider-Man with an electric web machine. He was eating meat and potatoes. I felt really sad when Dinosaur left, but at least he lived next door to me. The end. Well, wasn't that a fantastic story? I know Lammy really enjoyed it, didn't you? It's great. We hope you did too. And remember, you can join us next week for another story time. We'll see you then. Bye.